attention into something really important. Probably you will say, I can't have time, I'm in a rush, I need to run, I need to do the things. Yes, you understand? We are so busy with the things of this world, we are so busy with our things that we are forgetting our, our eternal life. Look, the life that we're living now is cannot be compared with the, with the things that we can have on eternity. The life that we're living now is just a small thing what's compared with our eternal life. The purpose of eternal life given in Jesus Christ. You are bringing so much attention of your life in the earth. I have got a question for you. Do you think if we die it's all, it's the end? Let me say to you, no, that's not the end. Because the Bible teaches us that there is the day of the Lord coming soon. And this day God will bring judgment upon all our doings. So if you're walking, if you listen at me, I want to tell you that there is a day coming on. Prepare yourself. Be ready to this day. The judgment day of the Lord is coming upon us. We always stand before the throne of God and we all are going to be judged according to our doings. What are you doing? Are you planting things on the flesh? What are you doing? The Bible says that the judgment will come upon the ones who don't live the gospel and who don't live according to the gospel, the ones who reject the gospel, the ones who turn their back to the gospel. Today there is a proposal. The gospel has, is, has, is exposing to you. God is calling you. God is calling you now. Turn away from your sin. The judgment of the Lord is coming. May you don't understand and say, well, you Christian preach that God is love. Of course God is love because his love, he sent Jesus to die on the cross. Because he don't want you to suffer the judgment that is coming upon the all men, upon all flesh. And on that cross, Jesus paid the price. Jesus paid the price for me and for you. To live eternal life. That the condemnation that we should take on our flesh. He take on his flesh. God's love was shown on the cross. So God loves you. And because he is love at the same time. He is so holy. And because he is, he is holy. He will bring judgment upon all sins. God cannot deny himself. He loves you because he sent Jesus. At the same time, he cannot deny his justice that will bring upon all iniquity. Me and you, we're going to stand before the throne of God. And all our doing will be exposed. You look so beautiful, so cute, right? And people look at you and say, wow, such a good person. Wow, let me ask you what you do in the darkness. What are your doings when no one is around? It's upon this thing that God will bring judgment to us. And this is the calling. Escape! Run! Escape for your life. For the sake of your life, escape. Run! There is judgment coming. Run from it. Run! Escape, and there is just one place that you can escape. It's on Jesus. You cannot escape by doing your own things and think you will be justified in front of the Lord on this way. Because we men break all commandments of the Lord. All of them, we break it. We cannot. We break it. We all have sin. We all. Me that I'm talking, I have sin against God. You that are listening, you have sin against God. And the Lord is calling you to repent of your sin and receive.
receive life and receive life. A lot of people, you're just walking. You seem to be alive, but you're dead. You have name that you are alive, that you have life on yourself, but you're dead because if you don't have the sun, you don't have life. Because the sun has got life in himself and he gives life. Why our heart is so hard? Can't you listen God calling to you to repent and to come to Him? Look at your life. You live sin over sin. Sin and sin again and sin again. And it's like a cycle. It's like a circle. Sin is make us a slave. Maybe you're slave of the sin. Maybe you're slave of this world. Well, don't tell me I'm slave because I'm free. Can't you see me walking on the street? Yes, your body is walking. Your soul is slave of your sin. And Jesus come to break all the chains, to break it all and to make you free by his blood on the cross. Hey, turn away from your sins. Repent. 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 That's the word. Repent. Please. Repent of your sin. Repent of your sin. There is great things on God. Huh? God create man and all the things that exist. And he put all the things that exist on man's hands to take care. According to the book of Genesis, God said to man to take care and to submit all things to him. But man have turned away from God because of his selfishness. He was thinking that he could be equal God, so he turned away from God. And if you see all the Bible, what God do is try to bring man back. You far, and the gospel we want to bring you back. And the gospel is the power of God for salvation of all people that believe through Jesus Christ. Not by your doings, but what Jesus has done. That's why the gospel is by faith. That's why we are saved by faith. Because it doesn't depend on your doings, but what already has been done on the cross. He conquered the victory. He conquered all. And he's calling you to live this victory that he has conquered for you. Because it was for you that the Son of God become flesh. It was for you that the Son of God take away God his bless. glory and God become bless. like us and like one of us and live like one of us and were beating for us that we may be saved. It was for you. Some people say that was a barbar act, what they done on Christ. Yes. Do you know that the reason was you? Some people say, Well, I feel so sad about what happened with Jesus. He was such a cool guy and they just killed him. Do you know that it was for you? You the reason. You the reason that the Son of God become flesh for us. You the reason. You the reason. You are the reason. God have loved you so much. Can't you understand? The 
ones who are mom, I think they do understand me. If you could ask him to turn it down because a bit, we've got a court on you, today in there, they're complaining in the court. When you have a son, you're not going to have a You are ready to give all for your son. Just a bit. You are ready to give all for your son. And that's what God have done. He give all for you. His son, Jesus, for you and for you alone. And you know what? God could do it again and again and again and again just for you. Just for you alone. He could do it again and again and again because He loves you so much. Look, this great love cannot be compared. This great love cannot be compared. How could I compare the love of God? What? We have been against God all the time, but He were for us all the time. The love is calling you. The love is calling you. Come to God. Come to God. There is acception. You can you, you will be accepted. Yes, come as you are. You don't need to be perfect. Come as you are. With your wrongdoings. Come as you are. Because was himself who said, come to me, you all that are tired, come as you are. Some people think, well, I will come, go to God when I think every single thing is okay. Oh, well, let give me just time to keep chilling my life. And when I become old, I will run to God. Hey, do you know that there is already a lot of men that made this plan and the plan fell? They didn't have opportunity to do that. Today, if you hear the voice, the gospel, the Holy Spirit talking to you, doesn't endure your heart. Open it. Come as you are. God is calling you. Come to me, you all. Come to me. I love you. That God's calling to you. He loves you. He loves you. He wants you. He wants to take care of you like a father does for a son. He wants to put you on his arm of love. But you just need to come. Come. Because when you come, you break your selfishness. Because selfishness was what made men run away from God. Men become independent. They didn't depend anymore of God. So men become selfish. And when you come to God, you break your selfishness. It's a humble attitude. Humble yourself before the, before the cross. Humble yourself and accept Jesus. Humble yourself and accept this law. Such a great law. Such a great law. Law that can change life. Law that can change.
You don't need to add it anything. All you need is to believe. Yes! Believe and get saved! Believe! Believe in the Son. Because if you believe in the Son, you believe on the one who sent him. You just need to believe. It's grace. You don't need to pay. It's free. It's grace. Because you are saved by grace. Not by your doing, by grace. And it's a gift of God. Is there any more better gift than this one? Then you win your salvation. A cost of nothing. You pay nothing. Because it has been paid on the cross. On the cross our debit with sin was paid. Was paid all. All. When Jesus says it's done, it's done. Come to Jesus. Cousin, yeah. yeah. don't enjoy your yeah, heart. Come. You know, everyone is like, like they, like, Please they say, like, like they say, like selfish, no? Yeah. People, they, they just looking after themselves, no? Why you look in this world and you think like a turn it is here? It's anyway, not here. Day, yeah. You can yeah. build up oh, yourself. Do. You Thank can. You. Build buildings, you can do a lot of things, but eternity is not here. This life will finish one day. You know, the future is so is so uncertain. You don't you 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 are not sure of nothing, but there is one thing that we all sure we all gonna die. We all gonna die. And the Bible said. To man, it's ordained to die just one time. Coming after that, the judgment of the Lord. Yes. Save. Run from this generation. This generation is running to hell. Save yourselves. Sell yourself! Don't! Don't accept to be found among God, the one who is going to be condemned. Save yourself! Save yourself! Save yourself. Can't you understand the message? That's the message. Save yourself. Through Jesus, save yourself. Oh. Drugs on prostitution on party and clubbing that will not fill you. The only thing that can fill you is God. God Himself. God Himself. Listen to my voice. Please, nothing. I Repent of your sin. Return to God. Repent of your sin and return to God. That what we need. Why you want to build yourself on this earth and lose your soul? 
Why you want to win the world and lose your soul? Why you want to enrich yourself and lose your soul? It's better you win the eternity and lose this life. Run, there is time. The clock is tickling. And there will be a day that all the things will finish. There will be no more opportunity. Yes, there is a day that mercy will be catch forever. Seek him now that you can find. Accept the salvation that you can find it now. Because when you're dead, that's it. Who praise the Lord when he's dead? No one. Now is the opportunity. Now is the calling. Look at your life. You need a savior. You need a savior. You need it. You need him. You need Jesus. Please, nothing, and it's time to turn back. It's time to turn back. It's time to turn back. Please, I beg you, like God is begging from me, please. It's time to turn back, to repent. He is on the door of your heart, knocking it. Open it. Give him an opportunity to change all. Opportunity to enter on your heart and to have a communion with you. You're hearing it. Repent. Repent. What we're preaching is the gospel, and the gospel is a mystery of reconciliation. Reconciliation of man with God through Jesus, because on Jesus, God himself was making a reconciliation with man. Was God doing it? Was God coming after us? Was God? And now he is calling us, repent, turn to me. Come and spread this great love. This love was proved on the cross. He became nothing for us. He died that we may have life forever. He was left behind that we may become accepted. He was beaten and he suffered a condemnation that from his condemnation we may, but from his condemnation. We have and may have salvation for what he has done. That's God's love. He loves you and he's calling you. Come to me, you all. You all. You all. 
young man, old man, child, girls, men, you all. There is hope for you. There is hope for you. There is hope. And our hope is putting upon him. He is our hope. There is hope for you, friend. Prepare yourself. The judgment day is at the door. And we're gonna be before him. We all you will not send your lawyer. You will not send your representative. You will be there. Me and you, you we gonna be there. Save yourself for what is coming. He is the way. The way that we may have life. The way to Father. He is the way. Jesus is the way.